here we are. This is here now. And uh, we have uh, too much to talk about. This is the incredible conditions that we're being subjected to now. I hear that there's uh, been negotiations between Iran and the United States even to uh, make a deal. <laughs> so Iran is going to retaliate against the uh, attack on its consular offices in ba Damascus. So they've agreed not to attack the uh, U.S. facilities, and U.S. is not going to complain when it attacks uh, Israel's facilities. <laughs> what kind of a deal is that? Bizarre. Well, uh, Abraham, I, I stay, is, is, I'm, I don't, just, let me start again. I hold everybody who's watching the program. Thank you for, thank you for being here with us. Please uh, like, subscribe, and share our uh, broadcast with others. We can increase our number of people watching. And um, please send us your comments. Now, Abraham, I thought this was going to happen. Not necessarily a negotiation between what would it would not be struck. But the United States has released a lot of money to Iran. The United States has asked Iran to do things under the behind closed doors or used in back channels. So it doesn't surprise me that Iran and the United States has some negotiations after their embassy was attacked, because that's what they do. Um, I did not know about this agreement, um, but it, is, it doesn't surprise me because, you know, um, the U.S., there are people in the U.S. who want to attack Iran. The U.S. can't attack Iran and win a war. Um, and I think the U.S., all it cares about is it, well, I can't say all it cares about is its people and its facilities, but it doesn't, I'm not surprised to hear, I guess I am surprised to hear it openly being discussed, but it would not surprise me if they were having discussions, because bombing of an embassy is an act of war. There's no two ways about it. Israel knew that when it did it. It knew exactly what it did and why it did it. And Tehran has not responded in any really serious way to the other provocations Israel has carried out and attacks on its people, even using the so-called ISIS-K to attack a, um, a meeting in Iran uh, late, I think early, late last year, which was in honor of General, General Soleimani. Uh -huh. So, I mean, I'm not surprised that they're negotiating something because they have... They have to. They have to come. They have to counterattack. It's like when when is when it, when, when Al Qaeda attacked the United States. The United States had to attack something. Yeah. They, they couldn't just say, "Oh well, it's okay." No, they weren't yeah. like that. So, you know, I I'm curious to see what Iran does because Iran may not attack anything anytime soon. Yeah. Who knows? Who knows? But it, it, it doesn't surprise me though those negotiations go on because. In, in the world of the diplomacy, you know, between countries, it goes on all the time. Yeah, I guess they've been talking a lot, you know, because there seems to be, you know, quite a delay in the response from Iran, which is not favorable to Iran. Iran is uh, doing itself a disservice by not responding immediately because that merely encourages Israel to continue an attack of the uh, Iranian Revolutionary Guard, you know, in uh, Syria and Ira Iraq, uh, Okay. It may turn out to be, you know, uh, an attack upon the Golan Heights that are occupied since 1967 by the Zionist state could be there. Or or it could be that they have selected some high-ranking Israeli officials to 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 um comment. take out. Yeah. Take out. Mm -hmm. That would be the uh that, that would that be the, the uh reciprocal manner of responding. The appropriate, yeah. the appropriate response would be find seven high-ranking Israeli military officials or maybe um Shin Bet, um Mossad, someone who is in in the in in the structure that they know where they are, they know how to who how to attack them, and to avoid problems with their allies, they'll have to have the attack occur in Israel. Hmm. I, I can't see Iran attacking, let's say, uh uh an underground Mossad base or unless Syria approves it. Let's say they find an underground Mossad um general in Lebanon or mm -hmm. in Syria or you know where they have an a, an a, an ally. 
or mm-hmm. what or where they want to have good relations. I mm-hmm. can't see them. I can't see them countering on foreign on quote unquote foreign soil. It would have to be in in Israel, in my opinion. Just just to make sure everything diplomatically mm-hmm. goes okay, mm-hmm. because you know they you know they don't want to have any other problems. Mm-hmm. And the U.S. I don't, it's, it's, it's interesting, you're right, because to openly discuss this as prior to it occurring, you're right, does take away the element of a surprise, and and, 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 and it gives targets a chance to hide. Hmm. Right? I mean, yeah. the, target, the targets, because if it's going to be somebody hiding high, high in the government or in the military, they can go into their bunkers for a couple of weeks and, you know, you know, you know what I'm saying, just, you know, I don't know. We'll see. Hmm. Yeah. We'll, see. We'll, mm-hmm. we'll see if 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 anything happens at all right now. You know, mm-hmm. nothing might happen. Right? Because the fact to have this open, like you said, openly being discussed in the press is kind of un unprecedented in my opinion. You're right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, by the way, uh Ramadan Karim. Uh, I'm still fasting. I've made it this long and I'm going to make it to the end of the Ramadan. It certainly is uh Wow, it's oh, based out, you know, like my mind is somewhere, you know, like halfway month. here and halfway there. What a month all the Muslims in the world have 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 have, have endured with the, with the United States and Israel's assault on the people of Gaza. What yeah. a month! What a month! Yeah. With Israel bombing, bombing the a, a, um and murdering Iranian officials in Syria. What a month this has been. Yeah, and they've attacked during Ramadan, you know, which is like a big right, no-no. Right. During Ramadan, right? During Ramadan, yeah. this attack has occurred. Yes. Yeah, maybe you know Iran is you know holding off, you know, because of Ramadan. You know, it'll wait until the end of the month of Ramadan, and then it'll come into a a big offensive. Uh, could be you know something like that as well. Yeah. It's very, very true. As a matter of fact, that might be a culturally responsive way to handle it as well. Yeah. Hmm. We'll see. Uh, my, but the world, it's, the world, it's the world is watching. The world is watching. But we have it now. What's going on now? Yeah, really, everything is changing. You know, like like from day to day. You know, like it's incredible. The United States has uh, distanced itself from uh, Israel now, both in the uh, Security Council, where it is announced that it is opposed to uh, Israel's practice in Gaza, and uh, without referring to the word genocide. And uh, you know, sites is giving you know, uh, a green light, you know, to Iran to retaliate against Israel as well. Yeah, yeah, that, and, no, uh, that, that, that that is that is unprecedented. I have to agree. Yeah, but really. the embassy is unprecedented as well. And yeah. uh, any, any country, even I don't like the country, has a will have the diplomatic right to respond. It's just the yeah. way that shit goes. Okay, I, mean, yeah. I don't like the country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I you know, like uh, it's it's so important, you know, for uh, listeners to realize, you know, that what we're discussing here, you know, is not discussed anywhere else. We're discussing here revolutionary world strategy, basically. Thank and you. and uh, you know, this is you know a wonderful thing to be able to do, you know, together in the, with you, Steve, in this dialogue. And uh, you know, one has to take note, you know, that the other sort of uh, channels that are available and that are very well uh, paid attention to uh, are only uh, doing journalism, you know, and we're not doing journalism. We know what was going on. Right. Right. And we, you know, leave that to others, you know, to take care of that, you know, area of work and to bring us, you know, the, the information that is being censored elsewhere. But we're discussing here how to take on the world's superpower, the biggest superpower in human history and to defeat it, just like we did, you know, around the war in Vietnam. There you go. There, you know, like we stopped them in their tracks, you know. You know, even Nixon, you know, had to sort of, you know, play play good, you know, to pretend that he was, you know, withdrawing from Vietnam, you know, uh, just giving support to the uh, puppet regime in the, in Saigon, and, and then, you know, ended it, you know, conscription, because otherwise he would have been uh, thrown out of the office, physically <laughs> you know so uh that's happening again you know the united states has had to back down incredible you know and, you know, and so is, quickly too yeah these are very important points i hope that everyone is is noticing because 
in the in the journalistic approach to covering the crisis, a lot of exposés will be a lot of exposés will be uh, made. A lot of um, hidden facts will be exposed, and that's very important. But we want to put forth an analysis which is a guide to action to defeat imperialism, to bring victory to the Palestinian people and all the oppressed. That's the purpose of, of a dialogue like this. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, uh, the hardcore who listens to us are the ones who are going to uh, be able to educate others for sure. But, uh, you know, the time is now for revolutionary theory. This is not, you know, something that uh, is... Uh, uh, I was trying to think of an expression, uh, if, uh, something that's, you know, like uh, flying in the sky, you know, like just for fun. No, we're discussing the ongoing world revolution that is happening. It's happening with Iran, Iraq, Syria, Palestine, Gaza. And we, we, we have to really, we have to really um, show solidarity to the people of Yemen. Yes, Yemen, Donetsk, Yemen. Lugansk, yeah, as well. Yeah, like Donetsk, Lugansk. All exactly. revolutionary peoples who are who right. are, are on their own, you know, like uh, taking the assault, you know, against the the regimes, you know, that are trying to true. control them. Very true. Very true. And then we uh, have Africa. Africa has joined in, you know, like ECOWAS, you know, in fact, you know, has been taken over, you know, and now with the election of this new prime minister president in Senegal. You know, it's going to be changed completely. It's going to be changed, you know, from being a counter-revolutionary force to becoming a revolutionary force. And the African Union is going to have to follow suit as well. Yeah, the African Union is going to have, there, there's going to have to be demand from the African working class, the masses, those and those inside the military. This this has got to change. Mm -hmm. We can't we can't allow, AFRICOM has to be re removed from the continent. Yeah. That has to be a goal. They may not want to make it. They may not want to make it an 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 ex an ex explicit goal, but there should be no U.S. troops on on African territory. What's they 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 serve the same purpose as the French troops. And yeah. if, if France is on the way out, then we have to we have to support, encourage, and show solidarity with those African the African people to get U.S. troops off their soil as well. Yeah. Mali got rid of the French troops, and now they're going to uh, force yeah, the American troops to leave as well. There's American troops there too. Yeah. There you go. Exactly. Yeah. Uh huh. Zimbabwe has uh, dumped the American dollar that it was using, you know, for practical purposes, and has now developed its own zig. Zimbabwe gold, uh, because they got a lot of gold. You know, they've been mining it. You know, they've been keeping it for themselves. They haven't let you know the looters come in and take take it out, you know, that this is a completely different situation there as well. South Africa is still continuing, charging the United States with complicity with the genocide in Gaza. Okay. Wow. It's all happening at the same time. And everybody is, you know, cluing in and deciding, you know, this is the time to move. Because, you know, like when others do, you know, like you do too. Interesting. This is the time to move. Okay. Wow. Interesting. Well, wow. okay. Well, um, I have to say, Abraham, I, I mentioned to others that um, I'm trying to handle this world food world food kitchen on a correct note. As I understand it, and my understanding may be wrong, the world food kitchen was the U.S. or some attempt to displace UNRWA in Israel. Hmm. That could be wrong, but that's what I have come to understand. So for them to, when they were in Israel, handling, excuse me, in Palestine, delivering food, which is nothing wrong with delivering food, as I understand it, they were in the service of U.S. imperialism, yeah. as far as the attempt to get rid of, and 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 the, Jew, and the Israeli government, who has always hated UNRWA. Okay. Um, when, when the... When the relief workers were murdered, not just killed, murdered. I I won't use the correct term. Because hmm. uh, they were murdered. They weren't just killed, they were murdered. Uh, gunned down. And um, they came from Western countries. I still think if they would have been Egyptian, Omani, Saudi, 
uh, UAE, no one would have given a damn. Jordanian, Syrian, they wouldn't have cared. Hmm. The fact that they were from Western countries is what made the difference. And I want people, I think that's important to realize that is what caused the outroar, not the murders themselves. Mm -hmm. That's my view. I could be wrong, but I stand on it because within less than a week, now I'm not sure if the if, if the people who were dismissed were fired, are they going to be prosecuted? Mm. Are there going to be civil trials, pay reparations? But they're off. They're out. They're they've been dismissed. Whatever that means. Whatever mm. that means. Okay. But the lives of those seven people cannot be cannot come back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know? Yeah. The Zionist officers who have been sanctioned have been demoted or something like that. But that's it. You know, like Zionists expected it's going to you know stop at that point. You know that there there's no need well, for any prosecution. They don't want to talk about this anymore. They don't want evidence to be presented. <laughs> I want I I mean I usually don't say this, but I think every government and United, United States won't do it because I, I, every government, every family of those people needs to, to get us to 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 not stop now. Hmm. Your 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 son and daughter, your your husband and wife, your aunt or uncle, your cousin, your niece, your nephew, was murdered by Israel. It's about time somebody makes them pay. Mm -hmm. Pay for murder. Now, mm -hmm. they murder Palestinians left and right. Nobody ever pays mm -hmm. at all. They never pay. They, they, there's no consequence for murdering a Palestinian. None. Yeah. Yeah. So, I hope that the good families and the governments get together and make Israel pay. Firing yeah. them, firing, firing, or removing them is not enough. Yeah. They were murdered, and we still have it. Somebody needs to release those videos. Yeah, in the Israeli government, in the military, put them on the internet. Let's because that will help keep the movement alive. To show yeah. the savagery of what occurred. Yeah, that's how I see it right now. Yeah. Because removing them is that's 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 a that's a little bit. It's, it's a big step, but it had to happen because they were not Arab or black or brown. Yeah. And from, from Arab or black or brown countries. Yeah. That was going or Asian. They were that was going to happen. Yeah. You know, that's that's how that's that's how they roll. We'll throw some out of the bus. Oh, we're sorry. We're taking accountability. Okay. What 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 is accountability? Say you're mm -hmm. sorry? I don't think so. Yeah. Hey, yeah. you murder somebody. You you openly tracked them down. You shot three. How, how many people know the whole story? Yeah. Three cars were bombed. Three cars were, yeah. were shot into by drone by drone operator. Three, not yeah. one. Three. Yeah, three attacks. Yeah, yeah. It was three attacks, not just one. Yeah. This was a cold blooded, cracked mm. mm. murder, mm. and they kept killing until they kill everybody. Yeah. So no, the dismissals are not enough. Yeah. I mean, that, that, yeah. I mean, that should happen the first time when they oh, hey, we gotta go mm. do that. Uh, that. There need to be trials. All the videos need to be put on, the, uh, made for the world to see. Mm. We need to be, the, the whole Israeli engagement, the entire Israeli engagement uh, process needs to be uh, shown to the world. I even heard um, that there's a thing called a kill zone. I don't know if you heard this story. Yeah. There's, there's, there's going to be a kill zone now. That anybody in the area will be killed, just mm -hmm. just like in Vietnam, the free fire zone, and mm -hmm. in, in the free fire zone, anything was killed, the hot, the, the, the panels were burned in the ground, etc. Yeah. So you know, let's talk about that. Let's you know, if if that doesn't, and I'm saying this, if this is used properly, and I hate to say this, but sometimes when they kill white people, things happen. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I'm sorry. It's just. This is it's a terrible world we live in. Yeah. You, you yeah. touch the white hair. Oh my God. What? Oh no, we have to stop. Wait a minute. It's too much. <laughs> you, you, kill, you kill Arabs, 
you kill you even kill um, you kill Arabs, you kill blacks, you kill Africans, you kill Chinese, you kill Indonesians, you kill Samoans, you kill um you know uh people from the national gods, you kill somebody from uh Bosnia from Serbia, oh I don't worry about that. About yeah. That. You kill, you kill French, English, oh no, oh <laughs> this is horror. Yeah. And then you know the genocide's happening in Sudan and Congo. Oh well, that doesn't make mainstream oh, news. Oh well, you know, that's not important oh, enough. That, that's, oh, yeah. oh well, that's, oh well, who? Oh, oh, uh, uh, yeah, okay, we we, you know, yeah, I, I, yeah, anyway, yeah, we need. I hope those families don't settle for this. Yeah, make them give you some big money. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that's all you need. Get yeah. all the documents. Sue them somewhere. Get the yeah. documents put on the internet because your sons, daughters, husbands, wives were, were murdered by mm -hmm. a government who only reason it did anything because your government said, what the... It, 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 imagine what was going on behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. you, you imagine the phone call they were being made and, and the means they were being held. Mm -hmm. Imagine what was going on. You and I know there was some, this is serious. Oh, no. Yeah. And, 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 and if the World Food Program and the World kitchen is what was being set up to supplant UNRWA, and that really messed it up, didn't it? But the food, but it stopped. Israel wanted it to stop, didn't it? They they don't want any food delivered. But now mm -hmm. they have to make some concessions. They, their brazenness and brutality and uh, uh, assaults on humanity have forced mm -hmm. it down the back up a little bit. Oh, we'll yeah, 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 yeah. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see, yeah. That's, we'll see. You know, we keep on saying we'll see. But, you uh, know, the United States, you know, they said that they were going to force Israel to open up the uh, crossings to let the aid come in, you know, because if they're not allowing the aid to come in, this aid, you know, of the world uh, uh, kitchen, uh, 110 tons, where did it come from? It didn't come from the crossings, not from the trucks. It came from that wharf, you know, at the, that the United States is setting up there. That was U.S. aid oh, that they were feeding in there right there, because there they go, have to cover their asses, you know, because they're being charged with complicity and genocide, you know, by South Africa and the International Court of Justice. So what so you're now, saying, what you're saying is the people who were murdered, that that aid came directly from the United States. Oh my yeah, God. yeah, that was their cover job, you know, and they and their cover job, you know, was messed up, you know. So they they're turning against Israel. They have to. Yeah, they, yeah, they have to. They, 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 have, they have to now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And even though Israel, you know, has said that they were going to open up the Eretz crossing there. The United States says, oh, they've opened up, you know, there it's crossing, you know, they'll all sort of, you know, self-congratulations, you know, for having done something finally. But it turns out, you know, the latest report that I've heard, you know, is this crossing is not open yet. It, it probably isn't. And it. there was two trucks that came in to northern Gaza, yeah. just two, with medical supplies, but no food. <laughs> you know, medical supplies for what? For which hospital? All the hospitals, 36 hospitals are are done, you know, they're baked, they're gone. So, you know, like, and, and what about the personnel, you know, like they've been got killed off, you know, in the North, especially. So, you know, like, you know, medical supplies, you know, who's going to use them where? You know, like, it doesn't make any sense anymore. It's all so uh, surreal. But the problem is that 68% of the Jewish Israeli public is still in favor of this genocide and increasing the genocide and continuing with this genocide. 68%. I was talking about that earlier today on, on another program I was on, and the host was mentioning the same thing, that there's really a population, the majority of supporting this war. And I said, and it's, it's so the host was saying, we, as I think you have said, there needs to be a way to try to reach the Israeli people and to break them from the solidarity with this war. Hmm. And while I agree on that, at a certain point, well, okay, I do agree with that. How to do that, I don't know. But if they continue to support the war, they will suffer the consequences for that support within the international community and amongst themselves. Mm -hmm. They'll become more racist. They'll become mm -hmm. more violent. They'll, be, they'll have more stress and more trauma because mm -hmm. they decided to go to war on the people who they've oppressed since they first showed up in the area. It's very sad. But this, yeah. you, you, like, this is the, this is, I, I guess, it's a very difficult situation to talk about. But the fact that the majority of the people support 
this violence doesn't doesn't say much for that society right now. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't. Or does it? I mean, we have to just sometimes you have to you have to just be frank about situations within societies. Sometimes it looks good, it looks okay, it looks bad. And there's around, it looks bad. Yeah. Right. Uh, all these people have been raised, you know, to be in French it says genocidaire, uh, people who are in favor of genocide, you know, genociders. They have mm -hmm. all been raised, you know, to be like that. And only 68%, you know, are, are falling through on the on the program, on the planned program of the Zionism. So that must mean there is a big opposition beginning to develop as well. Good. Demonstrations certainly are growing. And uh, Chuck Schumer, you know, said that Netanyahu has to go. I mean, you know, what's waiting in the sides, sidelines there, you know, is worse than Netanyahu. But nonetheless, you know, he said Netanyahu has to go, you know, which means that 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 whole governing coalition has to go. And, and if they're subjected to an election, they're not going to make it through an, another election. You know, their, their support, you know, these uh, fascist groupings, you know, that are, have, have, have stuck together there, they've been losing support. Not that the opposition is that much better. You know, the opposition has not, not, you know, stated that they would be willing to end the war. No. It's, it's you know, it's just too much to take. Well, but it, I'm going to see what what's going to happen tomorrow. I'm going to go back to the vigil at the Jewish community campus. You know, and I'll see what the Jewish community is reacting, how the Jewish community here in Montreal is reacting to this uh, U.S. Uh, change of heart. Uh, it should bring about a change in the community as well. But it's very difficult, you know, because the Montreal Jewish community is one of the most reactionary conservative communities in, in, in all of North America. But uh, I should certainly give it another try. So, you know, well, it's, it's, and it's certainly very difficult to do so. I'm still, you know, fasting and uh, right. right here at the end, of, you know, Ramadan, you know, like I'm, it's, in, you know, like it's in the, in the weakest, you know, point uh, of all, you know, it'll be the one last ritual, you know, while fasting. Then after that, uh, I'm going to be off for a couple of weeks, you know, after going in for, uh, no, I'll be there one more time on the ritual and then I'm going to go into the hospital for my knee replacement because my knees don't work anymore it's okay. difficult you know to be out there for three hours at a time well, maybe you should maybe you should cut, cut it down to one hour i'm just saying once i'm out there once i'm out there you know i don't want to stop <laughs> you know I could, oh, I'm saying, because it's be, so effective you know like I, i'm motivated to stay you know like in place so that doesn't while. matter you know like i'll i'll keep it you know going uh for another two weeks and then i'll i'll have to um be in convalescence for uh, I don't know how long it'll take me to get back out there you know but the way things are going you know like hopefully this war will have stopped by then if the United States plays its role as it should and if well, they don't want to be accused of complicity in genocide and condemned you know by the International Court of Justice which they will be in any case you know because they've waited too long you know like six months of genocide you know it's not something that can be overlooked no way well, what I, I want to ask you this, you know, what do you think are the implications for the revolutionary movements around the world in the sense of we have an oppressed peoples, they're being assaulted, they're being gen genocide is being committed against them, and we do see people rising up around the world. Hmm. Well, what are the implications of this this struggle against Israel, against Zionism for 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 the for the world movements? What do, you, what do you think? Oh, well, uh, in the Orient there, for sure, you know, like uh, in Egypt, <laughs> Egypt, all Egypt has done is uh, block the uh, Rafa crossing. Uh, and they haven't done anything about, you know, the goods, uh, the transport trucks being blocked from uh, entry into Gaza. I mean, Egypt can, can just, you know, like, move in there, you know, and, and get the trucks moving, you know, they can step right into uh, Gaza, you know, Gaza used to be part of Egypt, as a matter of fact, you know, they could shove it right down their throats, down past the, uh, the uh, Zionist military, which is blocking the aid from coming in, but they're not doing it. Okay, they're preparing a, a, a big prison there, you know, for the uh, captives that Israel is going to hand over to them. They're collaborating with the Zionist regime. They have to go. You know, the Egyptians know that.
but they just have to get themselves organized. There's going to be a revolution in Egypt. You know, that's going to be, you know, blowback from all of this coming okay. down in Egypt. Now. Thank you for sharing that. Thank you. It's got to be, you know, like I don't see any sort of, you know, proof to that effect, you know, like I don't hear anything, you know, from Egypt to that effect. And my contact in Egypt, you know, he's in the military now. He can't talk with me. But uh, I'm sure that that's what's, you know, being thought about, you know, in Egypt right now, because this is a military coup regime of Sisi in Egypt, you know, is not uh, is not uh, popular in any way, you know, and he's not doing anything for the Egyptian people uh, with which he can sort of garner any support there either. So that's yeah. going to go. And that's going to be a big one. Wow. So you see, so you, so you see some direct impact in in um, in Egypt. Yeah, Egypt, I think, is the place where it's going to happen. Yeah. Well, we, I hope that our listeners will, who if they if they have contacts in Egypt, will, to the extent they can, try to get a feel of what's happening and um, yeah. uh, report, uh, share our videos safely if you can and, and if you cannot safely share the videos track the information and, sh and sh share with us yeah. so we can find out because that whole region i mean egypt uh jordan syria lebanon you know the entire area um yeah yeah, it's yeah. Life of struggle within the country itself yeah in, in arabic yeah uh, with my little arabic you know i would say you know to the arabic listeners uh, Egypt. I forget the name for Egypt. You know, in Arabic, you know, the name for Egypt is not Egypt, of course. But, you know, like, Arabic comrades, you know, like, help the revolution in Egypt. We need you to intervene. And we need Egypt to step up and defend the Palestinians because they're the closest and they're the most strategic, you know, force that can do so. They're needed and they know that they can achieve you know a great victory for the for the palestinians if they force israel to back down even more so than it is being forced to back down by the u.s and there is some back down by the zionist uh, regime now i mean you know like what did he say he said you know both presidential candidates saying this has got to end you know this war has got to end even trump you know said the other day you know it's got to end i don't know what he means you know by coming to an end you know he may even be, you know, advocating the use of a nuclear bomb on the place, you know, to bring it to an end. But nonetheless, you know, he's saying that it should come to an end, you know, which most people interpret as being uh, a halt of hostilities. So immediately afterwards, all of a sudden, Biden says, yes, it has to come to an end. <laughs> you know, because he was being outmaneuvered, you know, by Trump. <laughs> Trump was taking position to, you know, that was more progressive than Biden, you know, on this Gaza war. <laughs> Yeah, you know, it just shows, you know, how out of it, you know, that Zionist Biden, you know, genocide Joe is all about. It's just incredible. It is incredible. It really is incredible what he, what it's all about. You're exactly right. Yeah, it really is incredible. The maneuvering, the posturing, and yet the arms still get, but even, but Abraham, yeah. even all the statements, the arms and the money keeps going over there. Yeah. Well, the last batch of arms was sent, you know, to Israel by approval from the administration just before Biden changed his position. Okay. What happened? What happened now? So now, you know, like Israel is, is, uh, is, has got the arms, you know, to continue, you know, for another week or two. And then the deciding point of, you know, lack of, you know, ammunition is going to hit them because I don't think the United States is going to be able to to restart, you know, it's 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 uh, ammunition feed, you know, into the war there, you know, because they've said it that they wouldn't do so. So they, you know, you know, they can't go against themselves, you know. So this is a definitive change, you know, policy of the U.S. administration, and it cannot be reversed. So I expect that the war will continue for another week or two, and then it's it's got to stop, you know, because they won't have the means to continue unless they get arms, you know, from. Oh, Germany, yeah, Germany is going to feed them, you know, with uh, ammunition, probably. <laughs> Germany, uh, uh, I heard a story this morning about Germany. It's not good, man. Uh -huh. I, our movement in Germany is being crushed by yeah. the German government. Yeah, On yeah, I've seen ground. videos of the police, you know, taking down even Jewish demonstrations against the That's genocide. Yeah. yeah, on the grounds that they are anti-Semitic or they're, they're against Israel's policies and practices. Yeah. 
Yeah. So our our German our German allies need our eyes on the prize, looking at what's going on and find some way of showing solidarity with them because they're not they're catching. Believe me, their bank accounts are being seized. Hmm. We start mm -hmm. taking their money. We we start taking your money. The the government means business to shut you down. Yeah. Yeah. So they, they need yeah. um every time every place I'm talking on the internet I'm letting people know, uh get, get on the internet find some sh shows about what's happening in Germany show some support to those comrades and our friends and allies because they need our support the German yeah. government is, put, is putting it to them yeah in the same way that the, I mean yeah. they basically have become the direct conduit of Israeli. Uh, the Israeli government on on the on the anti war movement in Germany and and it's really a shame. Mm. Mm. Yeah, well, Germany, you know, like they can't put people in jail, you know, that would be overboard. But you know, they can take away people's means of of living and organizing. Right. They've done that. Okay, I didn't know that, you know, but I did. I I, I just found this morning, and um, I perhaps we can. I, I'll send you the video that I listened to this morning. It was very graphic. I was I'm very concerned mm -hmm. about Germany. I've heard about activists who were supported, who support the special military operation. The same thing happened to them. They are mm -hmm. reporters in, in the Donbass. They're reporters. Mm -hmm. Their money was seized from their bank accounts. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. So Germany has been, there was a really dirty kind of revolutionary activity to those who show solidarity with the oppressed peoples. And oh. more, focus, more focus need to be put on Germany and what Germany is doing and why. Just before we go, you know, we only have a couple of minutes here. I yes. want to show you, you know, a letter from Einstein, you know, which is right on topic here. Yes, okay. that's right. That's right. So, yes. Let me show you that. Uh, I'll have to find it here, you know, because I forgot to set it up. You know, my mind is not working as it should. Well, and okay. uh, it's working fine. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, I'll look for it, you know, while while you give your concluding remarks. Sure. Well, uh, well first of all, I want to thank everyone for uh, watching this broadcast. Again, like, um, hit, hit the notifications bell and share with your colleagues and friends. We are here to build a real movement for social revolution, to, to overturn the system of imperialism, be it, be it, be it led by the, by the people of Europe, uh, the react some reactionary countries in Asia and um, uh, or, or or the United States. Our our movement is internationalist. We support the Palestinian people because they are oppressed peoples whose right to self determination has been taken away by the United States through through the Israeli settler regime. And we appreciate your comments and want you to get involved at the grassroots level to fight imperialism and to bring and, and to bring victory to the oppressed peoples. Yeah. I found it. I found a letter. But uh, my sh my sharing is not working. I don't know why. <laughs> well, Let me yes. try once more here. Okay. There it is. Okay. Let me show you this. Aha. In 1948... In response to the American Friends of the Fighters for the Freedom of Israel, Dear Sir, this is signed by Albert Einstein, when a real and final catastrophe should befall us in Palestine, the first responsible for it would be the British and the second responsible.